one day will someone come up and say, I found the morality gene? So morality is a complex and interesting trait. And like any other complex and interesting trait, like, like language, like humor, like reasoning, there's not going to be a single gene responsible for it. It's a cluster of genes and a cluster of, of, of brain areas that all work together. I think what's going to happen more and more is we're going to develop a genetics of morality alongside a genetics of language and a genetics of reasoning. I'm getting antsy. This is making me very nervous because I'm, I'm picturing in, a, in, I don't know, 20, 25, 30, 100 years, um, a pregnant woman's going to be able to get a complete picture of her child in uh, the fetus. And they're going to know about his re resiliency, his sense of morality, or her sense of morality. I mean, all these things we've been talking about before the baby's born. I mean, it'd be like a mark on them if they don't score 100% on all the qualities we like. Well, to some extent, we could do this already. Uh, there's, a population, there's a population of humans that are have less empathy, far more aggressive early on, are far more likely to be um, physically violent, far more likely to commit sexual assault. And these are called males. <laughs> so, so, so there's, so, so and, we're and that, already and that, there. And that, and that is, and that is up to a, a largely genetic condition. <laughs> I never thought saw that one going. <laughs> so,